a pessimistic trader? What do I mean by being a pessimistic trader? Well, um, a lot of people get into trades. If we just take, well, I've got the, the NASDAQ up here. A lot of people get into trades. So let's take this leg that's that's going on here uh, over the last uh, two, three weeks. Um, and so lots of people will uh, get in at some point in a leg um, and then just sit there hoping that a market's going to go higher. And that in itself can become quite stressful because they're just every down day that that market has, they get stressed. Oh no, it's coming down. Please don't come down. Please don't come over and stop me out. So what you really need to do is to visualize that very thing happening. So visualize a trade rolling over and stopping you out, but also visualize the trade maybe just pulling back against your let's say you you've been in this long for a while and you've got a target let's say here um pulling back against your position before potentially still going higher if you start to visualize these things then when if they do roll over um then you're less stressed at when those things happen because you've already visualized it you've already thought that process through that oh yes I'm in this trade yes it's going quite well but uh, yeah it could pull back at any point and actually as it starts pulling back yeah okay well technically it's all quite fine and could it pull back some more yes it could do you know that sort of self language helps you to then deal with it if if a market does pull back more against your position. So when I say being a pessimistic trader, you now know what I mean. I'm talking about really looking at what some people see as the negatives. Oh, what if it pulls back? What if it stops you out? Because if it does pull back or, or it stops you out and rolls back over and stops you out, because you've visualized it in advance, you're less likely to get stressed at that point where you get stopped out or worry about it or get depressed or frustrated all of these emotions that you can have which then affect you going forwards into the next trades so all of this comes back to having a mindset or an emotional plane which is like this as much as we can a trickle on a pond as opposed to a great big huge number of tidal waves so a little bit of negative visualization if you see what I mean I, I'm calling it negative but looking at the downside potential in your trade even if it's going to go higher oh yeah it may well want to do a deeper retracement what's the point in me being stressed every time it does has a pullback against my against my overall um, uh, direction because that may still end up playing itself out so visualize all of those and and think through when I say visualize I'm just think through and process all of those potentials that could happen. So uh, the market could just go sideways for a while, for like three weeks, and maybe you just get caught up in a consolidation. What are you going to do? Jump out of your trade? That's just nonsense. Leave that for the, the YouTubers out there or, or whoever, the Instagrammers out there, um, talking about jumping, cutting trades and stuff. So you've got to have patience in something like that. You've got to have patience if it pulls back against your position as well. Whether it's on a daily chart or whether it's on an hourly chart, it makes no difference. You need to have that patience, but you need to be able to deal with those periods where the market either stagnates or pulls back against your trade. And the better you are at dealing with that, you've got that emotional lane uh, plane, which is a lot flatter, not that flat maybe a bit like that a little trickle and therefore when those things do happen you're not stressed if you're not stressed you're a better trader take care enjoy your weekends i'll see you soon